Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. Guys, I'm going to do something a little different today. Um, <clears throat> I actually discussed it with my angels and told them I wanted to do just tarot cards this morning. Just the major arcana. And I said, you know, what kind of message do y'all want to get out? And they actually gave me several layouts in my head because sometimes that's just how they talk to me anymore. My ears still will ring when they're actually physically telling me something. But here lately, they've been sending me, I told y'all, they, they, I've been getting little pictures. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, two days ago, through four, day, like four days ago, you know, I started getting those people I've never seen before in my head. And I got this one little girl, younger girl. She was blonde, kind of chubby cheek. She was a, like a high schooler. Real pretty. Blue eyes, blonde hair. Guys, a day later, I walked into the local Dollar General over here and I saw her. She had on glasses, same face, same eyes, blonde hair. And I just looked at her and I, and I was like, I didn't say anything to her, but I totally freaked out. I was like, in my mind, I mean, I was like, oh my God, I just saw her the other day. So, um, I don't know if they, they were telling me I needed to say something to her, but I didn't get like no kind of message to pass on or nothing. So, that's the first time I have run into somebody I've never seen before that just popped into my head before I went to sleep. So, and she, I mean, she looked like a high schooler, but I don't recall seeing her at the high school. You know, maybe she was a little bit older than that. So, and she had glasses, whereas the girl in my face didn't have. So maybe she's got a, a cousin that looks a lot like her, or maybe she's a twin. Though I haven't seen no twins around here except little ones in grade school. So I don't know, but I just know I saw someone that looked incredibly like the girl that popped into my head. And I was like, oh shit. Now that I'm starting to see them, guys, that's kind of off the wall for me. I have never, that I can remember, had a vision of a particular person. And I had little visions like of people I've never seen before on and off my whole life, like in dreams. And haven't I think all of us at one time or another have had a dream or somebody seems familiar, but you don't know where you know them from. And y'all never figure it out. I knew a girl in Mississippi. She worked at the local Walmart. And every time I saw her, I'd, her name was Penny. And we'd look at each other and we'd go, where do we know? And we, 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 I mean, I went through all my school, my jobs, everything. She went through everywhere she knew of. We could never figure out where we knew each other from, ever. And look. Where I'm, where I'm from, in Mississippi, a lot of people know a lot of people. I mean, it's not a big, you know, it is a tourist, touristy place, but people come and go. But the people that live there, you see them all the time in the same stores. And I saw her every time I went into, into Walmart for 23 years, and we just never could figure out. We didn't go to the same schools. We didn't, we didn't know the same people, and we could never figure out where we knew each other from. You know what I'm saying? So. Maybe I just saw her in passing somewhere, or maybe we chatted at some point with somebody that I knew that we never could put the person together that we knew together. You know what I'm saying? So, and Penny, if you ever see any of my messages, I hope you have a, have a blessed life, honey. You were always really sweet to me. All right, guys. So, me and these damn cigarettes, I'm going to try to quit again. So, this morning I want to pull, I'm just going to pull a couple of uh, tarot cards as a message from the spirit guides and angels for you to um what there we go y'all don't need to see my bag of garbage hanging back there <laughs> i don't have a garbage can so i just hang it off my my oven um i gotta turn the heat off here let's see guys it's already starting to get cold here and it is getting ready it is it is getting ready to here in the next month it's going to start snowing again and already I'm really mad at my next door neighbor that won't give me the kitty that he was going that I was supposed to get from the litter that the lady had to give away and um he's already said he's not going to keep the mama so when the snow comes next month and she's out there freezing it up I may just have to call the animal control people because he agreed he told the old lady that he would miss Kathy that he would he would take all her cats and uh he's saying he's going to leave the mama out there pretty much to defend herself and I'm just really PO'd about that you know, you don't agree to take on a cat and her kittens and then say, well, I'm going to keep the cute little kittens and throw the mom out, out in, the, in the freezing cold, which is what someone already did to that cat last year. Y'all heard me complain about that if you've been following my channel for any time. I uploaded a video last year when the snow was coming, and I had like six cats out there I was feeding because their owner had deserted them. And uh, she, when she left her, she actually owed the landlord a lot of money, too. All right, guys, so what, what, um, what they... Um, what they what they what the, they gave me several layouts in my head to do and I didn't like none of them. <laughs> so um so what I'm gonna do is is I am going to 
shuffle the high high court cards, which is the the, the pages, the knights, the, the kings, and the queens. And I'm going to pull a significant card, okay, for the main card. And that's going to be the person it represents. Now, mind you, keep in mind that even if it's a female, it could be a man with feminine qualities, or it could be um, it could be a, a card of a man with feminine qualities. You have to switch the energies around to how they resonate with you. Or it could be somebody that you know. So, angels and spirit guides, give me a person to do a little reading on of what's going on around them that needs to hear this message. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, you pick the person. I'm just going to do the reading and tell the people what the energies are. And whoever it resonates for, that's who it's going to be for. Okay, guys, and then this reading is going to be timeless. So it doesn't necessarily mean somebody that's watching it that day or the day that it goes up. Whenever the person that sees this message, they will know that it's for them. Okay, so that's the deal we got going with the angels and spirit guides. Guys, I'm not going to pull no punches with you. If I have a preconceived notion of something that I want to do or that they're telling me to do, I'm going to tell you all exactly how it works so that, um, and it's not always going to be exact, but with how the general energies are so that, you know, um, you know what I've said to the angels and the spirit guides and the ancestors and what we've kind of agreed that we're going to do. So it may resonate for you. It may be somebody that you know. It could be someone in your family, someone outside your family, someone from work. Um, whoever needs to hear this message, what they need to know about the energies going on around them. All right. So we're going to pull a significator card, which is going to be the person. All right. So I've shuffled these up. We're going to cut them. Okay. I'm just going to cut them once. All right, on the bottom, we have the Queen of Wands. The next one that we have is we have the Emperor. So, I think I'm just going to go with the Emperor for right now. So, this is you or somebody you know. This is um, a man. It could be your boss. It could be maybe you're the boss. It could be a grandfather. It could be because you see he's an older gentleman. And this is some, and to me, the emperor is someone that's got all his shit together. He's intellectual. He's a man of the world. He may be old-fashioned in his beliefs. So maybe this is someone you know. Or maybe this is um, you yourself. Alright, I'm going to cut the deck here. And guys, we're just going to pull a few major arcana to see what energies are going around this person. And I'm probably going to do two of these this morning. Um, okay, so let's see what we got here. So the first one we have is we have the hanged man. Guys, and once I, I lay this all out, I'll show it to y'all. Okay, so this is letting go of something. Okay, um, hanging in there but letting something go that no longer suits you. Alright, and then we have the hermit. Lighting your own path, going forward, and going by your own principles. Then we have Wheel of Fortune. So this is somebody that is going from going into the future with their spirit guides and their angels having their back, their ancestors having their back. Um, the snake represents fertility. The lion represents strength. And I know this is a bull and I, Usually, sometimes I, I see this as Taurus. Other times I see it as having a lot of strength. A lot of strength and a lot of fight to you. So this is somebody that's that's releasing something and letting go and also having prosperity into the future. I'm going to pull another one. Yep. And then we have death. So that's somebody that's letting go of things that are no longer suiting them. And, and, then, and then, guys, I got, and I'm going to stop there because this means going, well, no, I'm going to pull one more. And then we've got the chariot. Here, let me pull one more, guys, and see, going into the future, what, okay. And then we have the high priestess, okay? So, so this is a very strong person, okay? Like I said, it's somebody who uses their intellect. It's somebody of the world. Um, he may have some lofty ideas. And then, mind you, switch the energy around how they work, guys. This could be a, a woman that is that has is more in charge of her masculine, the divine masculine, okay. But it can also be a man. It can be a very strong man. It can be a woman with, with strong. Um, I'm feeling like this is a man though, so this may be somebody you work with. 
I'm hearing somebody you work with, somebody you work with or so, or maybe your boss, or maybe you're the boss, okay, who's letting go of some things that are no longer suiting the business or suiting them in their life. They're changing their mind and going on their own path. When they do that, it brings in more money, okay, because they let go of this idea, this death idea. So here we have the, the uh, spear of destiny. The ancestors have your back and you're now going on your own path, okay, and then going into the future, we have the uh, high priestess, which is telling me even more intellect, even more um, a balancing of energies where there wasn't a balance before. Okay, so that says to me there's a new idea coming in where you're no longer going to follow. You're going to change up something. You're going to change up something where you decide that whatever you've been doing before is too weak. I'm hearing they're telling me too weak. So you're going to make a new decision going on a new path. And taking your own advice from what you know to be true and it proving to be what you needed to do. So I'm hearing strongly letting go of preconceived notions. So guys, if this, this and, and, this, and guys, if this message resonates, it doesn't matter that this is a man. You could be a very strong woman who does the same exact thing. Okay. And, be, and I'll tell you what, whatever preconceived notion you let go of, You've got the spirit of destiny. So this seems to me that this is something that may be faded. You're going on your own path. And you have two path cards here. Because the hermit is lighting his own path. And the chariot is using his own path. Okay. Now the chariot sometimes. People say it can feel like it means going forward strongly. But because he's looking the other way. I'm, I'm feeling like he's letting go of something in the past. And going by his own ideals. Because this is the base of the matter. Okay. So. But going forward. The Wheel of Fortune tells me, by letting go of this idea, you're going to have more op opportunities and options come in. Does that make sense? Okay. So, this is just a mini reading for from the ancestors and the spirit guides and the angels of whoever needs it. And I really feel, guys, here lately, I've been feeling like the ancestors, they're telling me the ancestors want somebody here in the present to be somewhere particular in the future. Like, you know, ancestors, spirit guides and angels, they can see the past. They can see the future. They can see what's above going into the future, what's coming. And they can see the past. And they can see the history. Does that make sense? Because, guys, they're on another dimension, in another dimension. They are on the other side of the ether. They can see... What is it, 190 degrees all the way around? Or is that 390 degrees or 380 degrees? I, guys, I'm not really good with math. But you know what I'm saying? It's like being at the top of the world and looking at the world spin around. And you can go all the way around it. But it actually, it's revolving around you. Okay? So they can see behind, forward, backwards, and below. The past, the present, the future. So, guys, this is just a mini message for whoever needs to hear it this morning from the spirit guides, the angels. Whoever you are. Make that hard decision, let go of that preconceived notion or idea that's not working for you and go with whatever new idea that you have that's going to propel you into the future by letting go of this old thing. Okay, so that's what I got this morning, guys, on a short tarot read for you. And look, I got my, my starfish up there and Sky decided to join us. Say good morning, Sky. She's been crabby the past two days. She's upset. She just, she lost her kitty. I had to let the other kitty go back home because he attacked her. She attacked her, and she was not very happy. They, they clawed her in her head. Huh, Sky? And once the cat attacked her, I, I, she'd been here for a couple of days. I decided that was enough was enough. Sky wants someone to play with, not somebody that's going to beat her up. And she is a rough player, but she's, she's a very sweet girl, aren't you, baby? All right, guys. So this is what I've got this morning. I'm probably going to do a couple more of these. Lana Scott Lighthouse, be a light in the darkness. Light your own path, guys. Light your own path. Listen to your instincts. Listen to your angels. If you suddenly get an idea you think is way out there, explore it. At least give it the benefit of the doubt. Okay? That's what they're telling me. I just heard benefit of the doubt. So, guys, somebody out there, you have a better future awaiting you. You just have to let go of this crap in the past. Whatever that may be. All right. Lana Scott Lighthouse.